Hey folks, Brian here. I'm filming this on the evening of the 15th of February on a really unseasonably warm and beautiful February night here in suburban Philadelphia. I, uh, I took a look at eBay today to see what cards have moved so far from Series 1. And, you know, there's no real shocks in the cards that are moving right now, right? It's the Adley Rutschmans, it's the Gunners, it's the Nolans, uh, you know, a couple of the big names, the Juan Sotos, the Fernandos, Tatises, and the Bows, and all that. You know, no surprises in the cards that have moved so far. So then I decided I'd take a look and see what other cards have moved on eBay, and, and specifically what the most valuable card that has been sold so far has been, at least sold in recent memory, uh, outside of top series one, of course, you know, it could be any series, any manufacturer, any, any year. What caught my attention was this one. This is a 1990 Donruss Bo Jackson card, card number 650 in the set. Normally in PSA 10 it'll sell for maybe 100 bucks. And here it is listed for $25,000. I took a look at uh, 130 point, and according to 130 point, it actually ended up selling for $3,500. That was the best offer that was accepted. What really caught my attention was the shipping cost. The shipping on that card was $600,000. Now, if I'm paying $600,000 to ship a baseball card, I fully expect that you are going to show up at my front door in a very nice suit with armed security and with a card that isn't a $100 card. Interestingly, there have been a couple of other sales of this exact same card with the exact same title by eBay merchants with zero feedback and pretty lame inventories, uh, also for way more than it's worth, although in those cases really only a couple hundred bucks. Now, I'm not going to accuse anybody of using eBay to launder money, and I'm not going to accuse anybody of using eBay to create a paper trail for a significant investment loss that they can use to cover up for an investment gain, uh, and then you know maybe reclaim that lost cash through some nefarious means like uh, overseas bank accounts or shell corporations, something like that. That would be silly and ridiculous and, uh, frankly, a little bit slanderous. But I am going to say, if that's what is happening here, there's better ways to do it than a Bo Jackson card from 1990 Donruss. Food for thought. Have a good night.